a one health problem. Antimicrobial resistance affects humans, animals, plants and the environment. We all live together in one system and we affect each other. One of the major challenges is the fact that, med that antibiotics are not understood. They're just considered to be medicines. Because of this and because of other uh, practices, we are developing a lot of antimicrobial resistance strains or bacteria. And that is uh, making the treatment for the doctors more and more difficult. So Yikarai India was instrumental in bringing the actors together. There was an open call for participation in a sandpit about antimicrobial resistance in a UK-Indian uh, uh, collaboration. The strength and also uniqueness of this DOSA team is that it has the diverse range of expertise starting from a medical microbiologist, a molecular biologist and experts in diagnostics as well as experts in social science. So we are integrating all the components here. Based on many factors, many scientific factors, we decided that uh, urinary tract infection is a very, very like crucial uh, uh, syndrome or people are facing. And if you think of our bacteriology laboratory, the maximum number of sample we get is urine sample. So it is not a disease to be neglected. My role in this project has been very much um, bringing a service design approach to bridge the local knowledge in the community with the scientific knowledge around AMR and also uh, designing what intervent the diagnostic intervention will look like. And for urinary tract infections, for example, we said those tests need to be very easy to understand, they need to be very rapid, they need to be temperature stable, humidity stable, and a very specific one which we wanted to have is, is that they need to be environmentally friendly, they need to be biodegradable so you can dispose them after use. So the test in essence is very simple but there is a lot of technology there. It's extremely affordable, it can be widely distributed and really um, it's very reflective of the context in which it was conceived and I think that's really quite rare and the impact of that is that really in uh, communities with dispersed healthcare infrastructures which might also be fractured. This really is a first step to understanding UTI and also getting the appropriate treatment. It's going well. Before, people did not know about this or understand the impact. But now we have learned about this and explained the benefits to people. They come to the hospital themselves or are happy for us to bring them here. Even the patients can use it at home and get to know their, uh, whether they are really having urinary tract infection or not. So uh, this, this, can, uh, this can be of uh, great help. So I'm convinced that if we take the DOSA project to its completion, we bring it through the regulatory approval, manufacturing and then deploy it in the community, it will have huge impact in the management of urinary tract infections and the reduction of the impact of antimicrobial resistance. This will provide two things. One is better patient care, but also better data. So better understanding of the prevalence of urinary tract infection in the community. And this will enable also policymakers to make better decisions on how to help um, the public health in this instance.